Okay, so when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Come back into the meeting. <clears throat> Perhaps somebody would like to share what happened during the meditation. You can just wave your hand. <clears throat> Okay, so I'll ask Carly to comment that she just arrived from the airport. Hello. Hello. I uh, hope you brought the sun with you. Yeah, doesn't look like it, but inside maybe. Um. Yeah. It's kind of. It was very beautiful actually to come back here and to see everything so green and the trees because when I left it was kind of beginning of spring. So, yeah. Well, we don't really agree with you because it's been raining non stop since you left. That's why it's so green. <laughs> the river's been overflowing. Yeah. Um, our roof is leaking, we're leaking, and you've been sitting Great. in the sun. <laughs> okay. Mm. So in the meditation? Yeah, and in the meditation, it was, it was quiet and some thoughts, and like a mix. I heard the birds chir chirping and kind of had some images of the sea. Yeah. Okay. Not so much. All right. Good. Nice to see you back. Mm. So I prefer to get a volunteer now. Perhaps uh, I would then ask if uh, Andrea, would you like to share? I don't think I know you so well. <clears throat> if you speak, you will appear on the screen. Could you hear me? Sure. No, actually, the other, uh, sorry, there's another Andrea. You're Leaf tonight. But it's okay, it's okay. We can have two Andreas. <laughs> How was it for you? Ah, oh, okay. Um, a new, um, neue Erfahrung. Um, ich konnte nicht so gut abschalten. Da war so viel Geräusche von außen. Ja. Who's translating tonight? Okay, I can do. Um, it wasn't so easy for me to really relax. Und was war das zweite nochmal? Da waren so viele Geräusche von außen. Es war so laut draußen. Hm? Ah, okay. Hm. There were so many sounds from outside coming in. Hm. Right. Well, actually, the sounds from outside aren't really an issue. Because if you're very quiet, you're going to hear all those sounds. Mm -hmm. So if you could mm -hmm. hear the sounds and you weren't hearing your own thoughts, uh, that's actually very nice. Mm -hmm. You have the idea it should be completely silent and the birds should stop, stop singing and the trucks that are rambling by should stop. Can you translate? Um? Nein, nein, aber es hat mich trotzdem abgelenkt. Mm -hmm. No, no, but it was still um, distracting me. 
but, but you see, when you say it was distracting you, uh, you're talking about life itself, aren't you? Life is always distracting us. I mean, there are always sounds. You, you just hear the sounds and you, you carry on with your life. It's not a distraction. Mm -hmm. okay. I sometimes tell a story that happened to me many years ago in, uh, in the south of Germany. So I was giving some public meetings and there was a lady who was very, very passionate about becoming enlightened. So she wanted to meet me. So we sat together in an empty room and uh, I said, well, let's start by you closing your eyes and we'll close our eyes together. You're translating your mind. I don't hear it. In in the background, it's been translated, yeah. Okay, fine. So then uh, I asked her, you know, to close her eyes. And then she said, I can't close my eyes because outside there's some children playing. They're making too much noise. I can't close my eyes. So this is this is the thing. I mean, she came to be enlightened and she was sitting there and she couldn't even start because she wanted me somehow to take away the sound of some children playing. So it's it's not like that. It's much more about accepting what is. So, I mean, what this meditation is suggesting is that you just accept what, what is happening. You just accept it and you don't try to change anything because if you start to change something, it means you have some kind of idea about how it should be. Like outside, there shouldn't be any sounds. But we're not in control of the world. So if you try to control the world, you can't. You simply can't. So we need to accept uh, what is happening. Is that okay? If you say something, I'll see you on the screen. Now I only see Om. Mm, it's okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you done a lot of meditation? Nicht, doch nicht ganz so far, so viel hier und da mal ein bisschen was, aber jetzt nicht so intensiv. Mm -hmm. Not so much yet, here and there a bit, but I haven't been practicing intensively really. Okay. Well, I mean, if, if you now have a decision that you would like to more regularly meditate, I hope these weekly meetings can support you. So, so when we start meditating in the beginning, it may feel like nothing is really having a much effect on your life. But if you keep doing it regularly, and maybe in the beginning you need to a little bit create a kind of uh, one place where you sit, maybe one time, time uh, maybe put a picture, put a candle, so you create a kind of uh, uh, something that is a little bit special in one way, which helps you to um, get regularly into meditation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so then you have to look at what why are you meditating? You know, what is the, your priority? Because probably you're a very busy person like everybody else. And so 
uh, unless you can have a clear priority that you do it regularly, you probably won't get much benefit. I don't know whether you've been to the Open Sky House, but we have regular meditation weekends. And that's a great way to kind of surf, surf on a wave because after one of those weekends, you'll find meditating becomes much more easy. And if you're living somewhere in a city, you could look if there's a meditation group who meets maybe once or twice a week with a teacher. And that's also very, um, very helpful, very supportive. Okay, but we will see us in July. I will come to the weekend and uh, I will stay the week after. <laughs> oh, very good. Well, I think for sure by the end of that week, you'll uh, feel differently inside you. You'll probably feel more light. You'll probably feel more space. And, you know, here in the house, we meditate in the morning after yoga, at lunchtime, just before we eat lunch. And again, in the evening, we sit together around a big table and we eat our dinner in silence. So these three times in the day, um, doing it every day for a week, you'll notice something is working better for you. Okay, so welcome in July. <laughs> Okay, so um, where's the other one gone? Ah, there you are. So tonight you're uh, Leif Gallier, but you can uh, be Andrea right now. Where's she gone? Ah, there you are. So you're rather an experienced meditator. If you say hello, we'll see you on the screen. Heard you, Miss? Yeah, now we see you and hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gut. Um, also, das passt vielleicht zu dem, was Andrea gesagt hat mit den Außengeräuschen. Um, bei mir ist es in der Meditation so, die letzte Zeit, dass. Um, also, eigentlich passen die Worte nicht zu dem, was ich wahrnehme, aber wir haben ja irgendwie nur diese Worte. Um, dass die Stille immer lauter wird und dadurch diese Außengeräusche immer weniger stören. Und das wird irgendwie immer mehr. Also diese Stille wird so nicht laut, aber so, 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 so mächtig. So. Ich, ich kann es nicht richtig beschreiben. Also die, die, die er greift so den Raum in mir, dass es so ein bisschen wie, wie laut sein, wie so ein, weiß ich nicht, wie so ein Riesenorchester oder so ist. Und dadurch. Ähm... Ich würde mal kurz übersetzen, Andrea. Ach so, Entschuldigung. Ja. So, so um, it, it, it suits a bit to what Andrea was saying before. But for me recently in the meditations, it's been like that the silence has been so encompassing and um, has been very loud in fact, and has been taken, taken the space very fully inside of me. Good. So tonight's chapter, if you look in the, um, the Great Misunderstanding, maybe I show this book, The Great Misunderstanding, chapter two, the first chapter which we're going to deal with tonight is called Moving to Silence. Moving to Silence. And, uh, silence in a way you could almost say is another language. OK. 
Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and Jira, are you are you translating tonight? Who's translating? Okay, so can you do it then, please? Okay. Okay, so tonight I want to, as I was saying, I want to run through um, step by step a typical spiritual journey. And um, if you're interested in this book, in chapter two, in the first sub chapter, it's called Moving to Silence. And so I've gone through this chapter and I've noted certain paragraphs which takes us through the journey. And as an introduction, I said, how much effort do we put in to try to change our lives? to become more happy and content. So I think I can look back in my life and probably the first 35 years of my life, I was constantly trying to find things that would make me more happy. I remember having a very nice, very classic old um, Volkswagen when I was in my twenties. And sometimes this made me very happy. Sometimes it didn't work very well. But anyway, it made me happy to have such a nice classic car. But of course, these things which we tend to have a habit, these kind of desires, in fact, they don't really bring us to happiness very long. Maybe something like a new car could be a few days, uh, a, a new partner could be maybe a couple of years, and so on. A new dress, only maybe one week. So we don't need to change, actually. It's not about changing anything. It's about becoming aware of what is stepping back from our habit of separation, quietening the busy mind, and becoming a witness to our lives. So Vipassana meditation is one of the great classic meditations, because when you sit and do this uh, obser observing inside, you also learn or teach yourself at the same time to witness what is going on. So somebody was saying, well, I could hear all these sounds. So that means that, in fact, that person must have been very quiet. Uh, their mind must have been very quiet. And then they heard sounds impinging. So in this way, we get to know what's happening inside us. And this, I would say, is a key to move towards self-realization, to move towards the self. Spiritual practices such as meditation and yoga, alone or with a group, support this awareness. And there can also be a powerful support in meeting and working with a spiritual teacher. And that's what many of you have chosen. So this is uh, already very good. What are we searching for? Is it for money, for happiness, or particularly for love? A fruitful place to begin answering these questions is to look at how strongly your thoughts are pulling you into the search for love and happiness out there in the world. So, for example, I live very close to the number one motorway in Germany. And, of course, uh, right now, now there's this football competition. So... Driving on that road this afternoon, it was packed with cars in both directions. And maybe many of those people were going to a football match because they believed that that would make them happy. So we're looking outside to find things that we believe will make us happy. And unfortunately, this is a kind of trap. 
And as you get older, you realize that although you've been caught up in that track trap for many years, it only being, brings a kind of shadow of happiness. So that's the value of meditation, because if you get a regular practice going, and I can see on the screen tonight, many people are actually rather experienced with meditation. And I hope that this meeting tonight will inspire those people who are also just beginning. Um, if, if, you, if you have this meditation practice, then inevitably over some longer time, your mind will get more and more silent and when your mind is more and more silent you will notice that thoughts have a gap between so they're not continuous thoughts anymore but there is a gap between thoughts and then at a bit later stage you'll notice that when you close your eyes after maybe 10 minutes your mind can be completely quiet they may be out sounds outside birds may be singing somebody may be talking outside your window but inside you're completely quiet so so this this is actually very beautiful because when you're very quiet it's much easier to become self-aware of what's happening And as your ability to be self-aware develops, you can see how a thought is created in the mind. And if it's come from the mind, that thought is not real. It's an illusion. But unfortunately, most of us have grown up in a way that we've accepted these thoughts as being real. We didn't know any different. Nobody told us. Everybody around us was focused on their mind and focused on believing whatever thoughts came up. But actually, these thoughts are an illusion. They have no value. The value comes when you become silent enough that you're really present for each moment of your life. So in that moment, this moment now, this is real. But already that moment has gone. So when the thoughts are in the from the past, we particularly can see that that is not real. And gradually by being self-aware, we gradually can show to ourselves what is real and what is not real. And if you get really quiet, it's possible to see a thought appearing. Uh, I liken it to um, a, a calm sea, and suddenly there's like a tracer, a mark that comes out of the sea, and you see it against the blueness of the sky. And then this, this disappears again. Because if you watch your thoughts when there aren't so many thoughts, you can see so clearly how thoughts appear and disappear. So there's no need to grab the thought. We have a tendency to grab the thought. The thought arises and the thought disappears. So as you become um, what we can call a more a regular meditator, this becomes fairly easy that we don't need to take the thought. We can simply watch and we don't get caught up in it. And then the thoughts simply disappear. And that's not really much, much issue anymore. Because if we grab the thought, that particular thought tends to then lead to another thought. And then another thought. And we get into like a story. And unfortunately, because of something that might have happened when we were very small, we may have patterns 
of thoughts in our mind which easily get activated by something happening in the moment and this train of thoughts or structures of thoughts um, can repeat themselves and um, I think everybody here that I know anyway you have this regular structures and you become yeah. familiar with those structures I often say one of the very common ones is the thought I'm not good enough you see and this is a very strong thought uh, in my own case it used to repeat very often in my day uh, but now already since some years it, it doesn't appear it simply doesn't appear so in each moment I'm simply as I am simply as I am and this is very beautiful because then there's an enormous space where things can just happen I can give you a very good example because yesterday um, some of us visited a castle a very beautiful castle and we went to see if it could be an interesting place um, where we could develop a, a guest house and a um, seminar business and this is a very ancient castle which has water all around it it's very poetic on the outside and I spent three hours investigating the inside of the castle and castles are not like a typical building because they're very um, pickledy pickledy and uh, so by the time I had finished this tour uh, I couldn't hardly remember anything about the castle so I came home and I had a feeling that uh, that's not really for us and then I was going to bed about one o'clock last night I was sitting on my bed and suddenly I got these um, thoughts that about the castle I had kind of like ideas about the castle they just appeared from nowhere and I was very surprised so I rushed to get some sheets of white paper and then I was sitting at one o'clock in the morning and I was drawing very roughly these ideas that were showing up about how we could maybe uh, utilize this beautiful castle into something that was practical in the modern time you see and this wasn't John David I was John David was tired John David was going to go to bed and he was already you know just about to, 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 to lie down and suddenly these thoughts started about the castle and then I sat and found myself drawing these diagrams uh, seeing trying to find solutions to certain issues and uh, because I used to be an architect many years ago um, I guess I still have a bit of memory of how to draw a plan and so on and so on so it was very beautiful and it was like just receiving it was like receiving some information that is completely not personal to John David and I think many of you who've been meditating regularly you know this it's it's kind of a creative moment you could say and I think when you're a painter you're a musician a dancer you you know what I'm talking about that suddenly things happen and you you realize that it's you're not deciding it's not a personal thing it's just there's a flow that comes out of the silence and it propels you into singing a song for example and this is what happened last night and it was very beautiful and uh, I can hope it will happen a bit more tonight because I didn't solve everything last night and um, but anyway this is a good example of what often happens in my life another interesting thing that you could try is that normally in our daily lives I'm not sure if Shanti our oh, Shanti is there Shanti is managing our guest house in Spain and uh, she's a lady who, who moves very fast she's feeling a certain pressure and then she starts moving very fast so this this is not going to help you with meditation it's not going to help you with 
um, finding peas. And my suggestion, if you happen to be such a person, is to start consciously walking slowly, move slowly. Yeah, and you'll find amazingly that if you start to uh, move slowly, um, things happen that you couldn't have expected really to happen. I remember when I was uh, uh, beginning my own spiritual journey, I was with a, a spiritual teacher called Osho, and he was telling the story that when he was, uh, I think, about 18, he was in some kind of college, and uh, he was trying to develop self-awareness. And so he wore wooden shoes, and his college had hard, maybe even stone floors. And so as he walked along, they would be clack, clack, clack of these wooden shoes, you see. And in that way, he taught himself to move slowly, and he taught himself to be very self-aware. So you can also choose something like that that can help you to move slowly. So I hope tomorrow, Shanti, you'll be rushing out with some wooden shoes, and then you'll be noticing that you move very, very quickly, you see. And it's not as if you, it's not as if you, get things done any quicker by by moving quickly it's an illusion in my opinion yeah but we can talk a bit later not right now but we can talk a bit later oh well go on yes what, what would you like to say go ahead are you there no. yeah i'm here what i do know my my alarm goes every half an hour and then i stop and breathe three times in and out. I feel that I sink more on the, in my body, and then I go on. That's brilliant. Very good, very good. In fact, the other day we were discussing to buy a gong mm -hmm. in the main community here in Hitoff. We were going to buy a gong, and we decided, well, we didn't finally decide, but we discussed um, hitting the gong, sounding the gong uh, every hour, once a, mm. once every hour. Mm. And so this is the same idea as what you're doing with your your um, um, phone. Alarm, yeah. Yeah. Maybe this is something where we could start before we find the perfect gong. Um, oh, my problem is some technical help here. I don't know, I've got a funny thing that's come up on the screen. What is that? Six there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some mysterious panel appeared. So you've been doing this for a few days already, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is... do you notice some change? No, I noticed that I that it is that it is very good to. The, at that moment, every I go back to myself, and that I'm again more aware, more feeling. I peeling this moment this morning apples and that i really feel the apples feel the knife when i'm doing it right right and so working in the kitchen and you're preparing a fruit salad or something yeah you've got different kinds of fruits you start cutting them and because you're really present you start noticing the different textures of the different fruits <laughs> yeah Yeah, very good. Well, let's see what happens uh, if you keep that going. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, so phone, it's, you it is on... your phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to carry my phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. Good. Nice. Anybody else doing something like that? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> okay, Amanda. Yeah, I have a reminder on my phone. It's every hour, it's, I have it some months ago. Yeah. And it's. You had it on your phone for some months. Yeah. And it's. So every hour, what happens? You get a little beep. Yes, and there's uh, there's some remembering today. There's like this boundless that I'm boundless. <laughs> this remembering is coming up, so it's always really so beautiful. On the hour you get somebody saying that you're boundless. Yeah, there's there's some. It's like a course in miracles called, and it's okay. just focusing on your insight again, and it's coming. I can I can do it myself how often it comes. Sometimes it's half an hour, sometimes it's an hour. And uh, every day you choose a, a different little quote to remind you of different aspects. Yeah, it's um normally it's for one year. Um every day there's a little lecture <laughs> that you do. Lecture. And, and you hear this lecture every hour. <laughs> there's a short phrase coming like yeah <laughs> so every hour i can remember the phrase and i'm looking inside for this short time then i'm out again <laughs> okay and you say you've been doing it for some months i mean yeah I, before i came here i did it a lot i i had my alarm half an hour or 50 minutes <laughs> And <laughs> everyone so, gets annoyed around me. <laughs> and I was. <laughs> and do you so, notice some changes coming from that? Yes, definitely. It's it's so powerful because you realize at this moment where you are right now. And sometimes I didn't realize where I am. And it's 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 a remembering always. Right. Right. I mean, maybe you, you all remember, I think it was in 2000 or 2001, I can't quite remember the date, but in New York, there was this moment when two aeroplanes uh, flew into these uh, very tall office buildings in New York, yeah? and then these buildings fell down. So for uh, people from, uh, particularly from New York, of course, but anybody probably living in america and also people living all around the world feeling connected to america it was an incredible shock and mm -hmm. sometimes the uh, television companies interview people and ask them you know what were you doing in that moment where were you what happened you know and and most people can remember that because it was such a kind of completely um, unusual uh, dramatic uh, terrible uh, situation that happened and people don't forget something like that you know it's like uh, and so it's a way of remembering ourselves but of course we don't want buildings being um, collapsed with airplanes uh, on, on the hour every hour you know so that we become more aware but there are many many ways like we've already started to hear a few tonight including yours these can really help us to um teach ourselves about self-awareness and this self-awareness when you you add it to a regular meditation becomes very very powerful because when you discover that you've got inside you certain structures of the mind which just keep repeating uh, like this one about i'm not good enough it can just keep repeating through the day and every time it appears somehow we believe it and of course this is uh, unlikely to be true it might be true once but it's not going to be true when it repeats several times a day more or less every day of our life so to be aware of that then gradually you find you don't have to be identified with that uh, thought and as you don't give any energy to that thought so you can't stop it maybe coming. So it'll just come and then it will go. And this doesn't really cause so much problems. It's only a problem when you grab it and say, yes, yes, I'm not good enough. You know, in that moment, you're caught up in something. Besides being an illusion, it can really uh, have a big effect on your life. 
because that maybe the natural response to that thought is then to try to be good enough. So then it affects some behavior to be, to show yourself you're good enough. So these kind of recurring structures or recurring thoughts are something in particular we don't want to, to allow into our mind on and on. And the way to deal with it is that you become more self-aware so that when these kind of structures appear, you don't grab them. And when we don't grab them, somehow the thoughts simply melt away. It takes some time, but they just disappear in their own time. You, so you don't really have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is to be self-aware of what's happening in your mind. So this is a skill which comes very much out of meditation. And I think nearly everybody on the screen tonight is, is very aware of that. So this witness is in the mind. So this witness is also going to disappear. So there will, there will come a, a point where you've been perhaps meditating for some months or for most people some years. And you, you develop this ability of being the witness, able to watch what's happening. And then you find one day this witness has just disappears. And what are you left with? You're left with silence. You're left with emptiness. Nothingness. These kind of words. And then, of course, there's a funny moment. Because when you come to simply stillness or emptiness, you can imagine that you've come to this through your meditation practice. By meditating, I've come to this stillness. But the reality is that we're naturally still. We're naturally still. It, it's always there as our essence. Just have to go back to the room. It's always there as our essence. So you haven't come there through the meditation, but the meditation has given you the possibility to see it clearly for yourself. And unfortunately, by rushing through our life or getting very caught up in the thoughts, we fail to see that this quality is always there. So we can see this situation is that uh, we've had these clouds, these thoughts, these emotions, judgments, they're like clouds, and we've become the open sky, peaceful and empty. And then the clouds simply pass by in the background of the mind and don't cause any trouble anymore. I think I've missed out a bit somewhere, but anyway. Just one moment, I think I've got another thing I want to read. No, actually, that was what I wanted to say. So that by, by itself, we come to a moment when the witness has disappeared. We come to our essence. We can call that stillness, nothingness, emptiness. And actually, we don't need to call it anything. And when we come to that place, we suddenly find ourselves 
being in a space which is very wide. There's suddenly a lot of lateral space without any boundaries. The boundaries disappear. And this is such a nourishing space that we don't want to leave that space. We don't want anything to change. Of course, things will change, but we feel very nourished and we can completely accept it. And in one sense, we can say this is this is the point in our journey which we had always wished to come to. Okay, okay. Would anybody like to um, make a comment or ask a question? Perhaps we'll ask Jaya. Jaya often comes to this space. Perhaps she'd like to share that. Um, yeah. Yeah, also einmal so diesem Praktizieren vor vielen Jahren habe ich ähm, häufig versucht, äh, im Tagesgeschehen immer meinen Körper zu spüren, meine Füße. Ich habe immer wieder meine Füße gespürt. Kann jemand übersetzen? So, rather, I need um, you to translate, please, because I don't understand German. Yes, yes. Kannst du noch mal wiederholen, Jaya? Ich bin das vor ein, ja, vor vielen Jahren, vielleicht zehn Jahren, da habe ich äh, begonnen, oder hatte ich eine lange Zeit, wo ich immer wieder im Tag äh, versucht habe, meinen Körper zu spüren, zum Beispiel die Füße. Immer so, for die ten, ten years ago, I always had, uh, through the day, I tried to, to feel something in my body, for example, I feeling my feet. Ja. Yeah. Ja, yeah, das habe ich eine ganze Zeit gemacht und ich weiß nicht was, dann habe ich immer wieder was anderes, ähnliches praktiziert. So I practice this for a longer time and then um, I yeah, practice similar things like this. Und ähm, heute, also jetzt gerade, was ich im Moment sagen kann, ich bin heute irgendwie, also nicht nur in der Zeit äh, meditiere ich, ich, ich fühle mich die ganze Zeit jetzt hier in Meditation. So what I can say now, it's not like um, I'm meditating, so I feel like all the time in meditation. Right, right. Es, besonders jetzt heute merke ich das wieder. So particular today I noticed it. Right, right. Yeah, this is very lovely, of course. Yeah, das ist sehr schön natürlich. How many, yeah. how many, how many years have you meditated regularly? So, wie viele Jahre hast du denn regelmäßig meditiert? Ich habe ja am Anfang nicht so viel meditiert. Ich habe mehr über meinen Körper bin ich nach innen gegangen. So in the beginning I didn't meditate so much, so through my body I went inside. Through your body? Ja, yeah, um, über... indem, yeah, indem ich meinen Körper eben gefühlt habe. Und dann habe ich andere Dinge noch ausprobiert, zum Beispiel diese Lücke zu finden zwischen den Gedanken. So by, by feeling my body, but I also then also tried out to find the gap between the thoughts. Right, right. And so, I mean, over how many years were you meditating in that way, either through your body oh. or the mind? 15 years, 20 years. So this is, of course, very long 15, time. 20 years. That's natürlich a lange Zeit. So for somebody who is starting on the journey, 15 or 20 years feels uh, a bit impossible. So für jemand, der vielleicht gerade erst anfängt, fühlen sich 15 oder 20 Jahre ja fast unmöglich an. And of course in the beginning, uh, we have to really uh, have a, an understanding of the benefit we can get from meditation. Und besonders am Anfang äh, brauchen wir ein Verständnis darüber, was wir für einen Nutzen von der Meditation bekommen können. I can remember myself in the beginning, uh, I was living in an, ash in an ashram and uh, there und were many kinds of meditation. Ich kann mich and selbst erinnern, als ich am Anfang im Ashram gelebt habe, da waren verschiedene Meditationen. 
and I would do these meditations, and sometimes I would be resistant even to go to the meditation hall. Und um, ich selbst konnte manchmal auch Widerstand spüren, selbst einfach nur zur Meditationshalle zu gehen. And that is also okay in the beginning. Und das ist auch am Anfang okay. But you find that as you continue, that the meditation becomes very attractive. Aber um, du wirst feststellen, wenn du weitermachst, dass Meditation sehr attraktiv wird. And you have beautiful moments. Und dass du wunderschöne Momente hast. Like a bit mysterious moments that suddenly just happen. So mysterische, mystische Momente, wo einfach auf einmal etwas passiert. And so then it becomes much easier to meditate. Und dann wird es viel einfacher, einfach zu meditieren. And then the years kind of slip by. Und dann vergehen die Jahre. And then you also notice that important things happen in your life. Und dann bemerkst du auch, dass ähm, wichtige Dinge in deinem Leben passieren. You can't really connect the meditation directly to these changes in your life. Du kannst vielleicht nicht die Meditation so wirklich mit diesen Veränderungen deinem Leben in Verbindung bringen. For example, um, I can remember that I used to eat meat. Also ich kann mich zum Beispiel erinnern, dass ich ähm, gewohnt war, Fleisch zu essen. In fact, my whole family used to eat meat. Und meine ganze Familie hat äh, Fleisch gegessen. So I never even thought about not eating meat. Also ich habe nie darüber nachgedacht, kein Fleisch zu essen. But after some time I found that the sort of inner feeling was I don't want to eat meat. Aber so nach einiger Zeit ist dann so ein inneres Gefühl da gewesen, dass ich Fleisch nicht wirklich essen mag. And so eating meat gradually disappeared from my life. Und dann Fleisch äh, zu essen ist dann so aus meinem Leben nach und nach verschwunden. It, it wasn't so much making a decision, it was just something that gradually happened and eat, uh, eating meat disappeared. Also es ist nicht so, dass das so eine Entscheidung war, sondern es einfach, es hat sich das so entwickelt, dass einfach das Fleisch dann, um, Fleischessen verschwunden ist. This was very difficult when I visited my mother, because uh, if I schön. didn't eat her meat, she would feel I didn't love her anymore. Das war etwas schwierig, wenn ich meine Mutter dann besucht hatte, weil ich das Fleisch zu essen hat sich für sie so angefühlt, als ich würde sie nicht mehr lieben. So many times I had to just be quiet, accept the meat and then put it on a side plate. Und viele Male muss ich dann still sein, das Fleisch akzeptieren und dann einfach still zur Seite schieben. So these kind of changes Uh, they they just appear and they, they, when they appear it's just a very clear decision comes but it's not as if i am making the decision und diese veränderungen passieren einfach also es ist einfach dass das äh, ja passiert nicht einfach so in der form klar ich mache diese oder ich entscheide das and of course uh, along the way of meditation we somehow come to a point where we have a question who am i und wenn wir meditieren dann kommen wir auch irgendwann zur frage um, wer bin ich and then we start to investigate this i und dann fangen wir an dieses ich zu erforschen and of course this is um, this is becomes a teaching that was very much um, talked about by ramana maharshi und das ist eine Lehre, die sehr durch Ramana Maharshi äh, verbreitet wurde. And when people came to him, he wouldn't particularly say, do my self inquiry and ask yourself, who am I? Und wenn die Leute zu ihm gekommen sind, hat er jetzt nicht gesagt, äh, mach meine Selbsterforschung und frage dich, wer du bist. He, he knew that anybody who was already meditating, they would gradually come to that question. Also er wusste, jeder, der meditiert, würde so nach und nach zu dieser Frage eben kommen. 
Okay, maybe somebody else. Vielleicht noch jemand anders? Okay, Aditi. Ja. Ich habe die Meditation gemacht mit diesem langsamen Laufen zum Auto. <lacht> I did the meditation with um, walking slowly to the car. Ich habe mir die Zeit auch genommen, dass ich wirklich für die Minute zum Auto zehn Minuten brauche. So I took my time to um, take for the walk to the car ten minutes instead of one minute. Es war interessant, was ich unterwegs alles gesehen habe. It was very interesting what I could see uh, on this walk. Fugen im Gehweg, die ich noch nie gesehen habe. Fugen? Im Fugen. Riss um, im Gehweg und Platten. So, um, 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 the things between the tiles, so in, in, on, on, on the floor, uh, between right. the stones, the cracks. Right, right, right. Es war aber eins, auf dem Weg zum Auto nicht so einfach, als wenn ich mir Meditationszeit genommen habe, wirklich dabei zu bleiben und den Gedanken nicht, ich muss jetzt auf den Termin, weil wenn ich zum Auto gehe, habe ich was vor. And it was not so easy as when I meditation, because walking through the car, then thoughts, when thoughts came, came up, so that the, I'm going to have an appointment, so I have, have to do something. Ich musste ganz bewusst mich dran halten, jetzt hast du Zeit, aber es war auch eine Herausforderung. So I really need to be aware that now I have time and it was also a challenge. Right, right. Yeah, we live unfortunately in a very sort of busy existence where there's always a pressure about time. I don't have enough time. Ja, wir leben ja leider in so einer sehr geschäftigen Existenzzeit, dass wir nie Zeit haben und das Gefühl haben, wir sind unter Zeitdruck. Ja, ich habe dort erstmal richtig festgestellt, wie ich eigentlich immer zum Auto hetze. Ja, yeah, when I did this, I noticed, like, actually, I always hurry to the Weil car. vorher nicht bewusst. I wasn't aware before. Right, right. And it's very mysterious, but when you're not putting on yourself a kind of pressure about time, yeah, I've noticed is... that all the things that need to happen seem to happen, and there's always, in effect, enough time. So, also, wenn du dich selbst nicht unter Druck setzt, dass äh, du nicht genug Zeit hast, ähm, das ist ja interessant, die Dinge werden sowieso passieren. Also, es werden immer diese... Pass Dinge passieren oder du wirst immer genug Zeit haben, die Dinge zu tun, die getan werden müssen. And even rather curious miracles happen. Und selbst ja äh, yeah, Wunder passieren. Because you know there's this football competition. Da ist jetzt das äh, Fußballspiel oder die Fußball Europameisterschaft. I guess nobody doesn't know about that in Germany. It's it's everywhere. Also keiner weiß das in Deutschland, weil es überall ist. So I knew I would like to, to follow the English progress. Also ich wusste, ich wollte natürlich ähm, die Engländer verfolgen. So I knew tonight they have a, a, a match. Also ich, ich wusste, dass die heute Abend ein Spiel haben. And I didn't really know the time. Ich wusste nicht die Zeit. And I only have until eight o'clock, then I would have my Zoom meeting. Ich wusste, ich habe nur bis um acht, weil ich dann mein Zoom meeting habe. And you know, um, on the BBC, because I I follow BBC for this kind of information. When I looked on the BBC, it the match started at five o'clock. Und auf BBC, weil ich ich schaue auf die BBC um, stand dort, dass dieses Spiel um fünf anfängt. Then I had to remember that in Germany we are one hour ahead, so that would be six o'clock. Und dann musste ich mich erinnern, dass wir in Deutschland ja eine Stunde voraus sind. Das heißt also um sechs. 
And then I knew how long a football match is lasting. So, of course, the football match finished 15 minutes before my Zoom meeting. Und dann wusste ich, was natürlich, wie lange ein Fußballspiel geht. Und dann war mir klar, okay, dass das bis 15 Minuten vor meinem Zoom-Meeting geht. So I could watch the football, I could uh, say goodnight to my kids, and I could uh, be ready for the Zoom-Meeting. Also konnte ich dann äh, das Fußballspiel schauen, meinen Kindern guten Nacht sagen und mich aufs Meeting vorbereiten. So sometimes even there can be little miracles like that. Ja, manchmal sind einfach so kleine Wunder wie das. Okay. So, we've had some rather good examples tonight. Wir haben ein paar schöne Beispiele heute gehabt. So, perhaps I could invite Roland. Because I think we haven't met before. Kann ich Roland einladen? Wir sind uns noch nicht begegnet. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm new. I'm completely new. Ich bin And you neu. speak very good English. That's very lucky. Yes. Du sprichst sehr gut Englisch. Das ist toll. Uh, um, yes, uh, more or less. <laughs> Mehr oder weniger. Okay. Are you living in Germany, are you? Yes, in Lips South in Deutschland. Germany. Ja, in Süddeutschland. In, in okay. Süddeutschland. Uh, Lake of Constance. Uh, oh, okay. Bodensee. Bodensee, Konstanz. Ah, very nice. Um, yes. I, know, I read, sorry, I read a lot of your books. This ah, okay. Ich habe viele deiner Bücher gelesen. <laughs> also yeah, this that... one. Right, right. But uh, about so, Papaji. So, so the first, <laughs> the first one, Papaji Amazing Grace. Das erste, Kraft der Gnade. Um, I was so living... I was living with him for four and a half years. Ich habe mit ihm viereinhalb Jahre gelebt. Mm -hmm. And so I went to many of his meetings. Also ich bin viele zu seinen Treffen gegangen. And often things would happen in his meetings. Und oft sind Dinge eben in seinen Meetings passiert. Which we could call self-realization. Was wir Selbstrealisation nennen können. He had a big powerful energy. Er hatte eine unglaublich kraftvolle Energie. And uh, he had this thing where after people had this uh, spiritual opening. Und er hatte dieses Ding, nachdem die Leute ihre spirituelle Öffnung hatten. People, he would ask people, please tell us, please speak now and tell us. Um, er fragte dann die Leute, ja, sprecht doch mal darüber, erzähl uns. And sitting in the meetings, I noticed that almost nobody could really speak from that place in the beginning. In diesen Meetings war nicht kaum jemand fähig überhaupt da, darüber zu sprechen. And sitting there, I decided I would go and meet those people and I would interview them and I would ask them about their life and then I would ask them about uh, their experience of this opening. Und dann habe ich die Idee gehabt, dass ich ähm, ja, einfach zu denen gehe und sie interviewe und über ihr Leben und ähm, ja, diese Öffnung interviewe so that sprechen book, lasse. That book, uh, Papaji, Amazing Grace, und dieses Buch äh, Papaji, Kraft der Gnade that was the result of that idea I had. war das Ergebnis aus dieser Idee heraus. Mm. It's and, a very refreshing book, I find. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the first book we Ein made. Book. I, I made it out of my interviews, and then uh, the people in the community supported me to make it into a book. It was the first one. Ja, das war das erste Buch, um, was entstanden ist. Und die Leute aus der Gemeinschaft haben mir geholfen, das eben in ein Buch zu bringen. And then other books uh, have happened over the years. Und dann sind andere Bücher über die Jahre passiert. But anybody who's starting out, that, that book is really giving an idea about the relationship between the student and the teacher. Aber jeder, der so anfängt, also dieses Buch gibt so einen Eindruck darüber, über die Beziehung zwischen einem Lehrer und dem Schüler. And I would say it's a big encouragement for people who are starting out on the journey. Und ich würde sagen, das 
das eine große Ermutigung für Leute, die in die Reise antreten. Because in that book there's a range of people in living in the normal life in the society. Weil in diesem Buch ist eine ganze Auswahl an Leuten, die normal in der Gesellschaft gelebt haben. And it shows you how their life changed and how they went on a spiritual journey and how they became a conclusion, a good conclusion. Und es zeigt, wie, diese, wie das Leben sich dieser Leute verändert hat und wie sie auf den Weg gekommen sind und was daraus entstanden ist. Um, Owen, can you take away Rada and let me see Roland, actually? What? I can't, oh, now I see you, yeah. If you talk, I see you, yeah. yeah ah, yes, good. if I talk, uh, yes, yes, I okay. See, you can <laughs> see me and I can see you. Yes, yeah. I understand. Yes, right. yeah. very fine. Yes, I, I'm I'm interested to visit you at uh, in July also. Yeah, ich bin daran interessiert, okay. dich euch in July zu besuchen. So I'm okay. going to come at your place. I good. Uh, yes. <laughs> somebody somebody euch. told me that you're an architect. Is that right? Yes, I'm an architect. Erzählt, dass du ein Architekt bist. Okay, so uh, maybe we can talk about this castle we found. Ah, yes. Vielleicht können wir hier über das uh, Schloss sprechen, was wir gerade yes, gefunden okay. haben. We can talk about the castle, yes. Yeah, wir können über das Schloss sprechen. It's such a beautiful old castle. I mean, it's a really a wonderful place. Es ah, wird yes. ein sehr schönes altes Schloss, ein wundervoller Ort. How far is it from your place? Wie weit ist es von eurem Platz? It's about 40 minutes. Oh, it's very close. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And That's the fine. thing um, about that castle is that unfortunately when they built the castle, I don't think they, they used toilets. Als sie dieses Schloss gebaucht haben, haben sie um, leider keine Toiletten gebaucht. They put wa water yeah. around the castle to keep bad people away. Sie haben Wasser um das Schloss herum um, ist Wasser, um halt uh, Leute abzuhalten. And they also use that as their toilets, I think. <laughs> ich denke, die haben das auch als Toilette benutzt. So now, many, many years later, a few hundred years later, of course, so, uh, making Jahre später, it possible to live in the castle is not so easy. Ist die Möglichkeit, im Schloss zu leben, nicht so einfach. Because yes. they built the castle with very thick walls. Die haben das Schloss mit sehr dicken Mauern gebaut. And it's not easy to fit in toilets. Und es ist nicht so einfach, da Toiletten reinzubauen. So it's, it's a bit mundane, but it's a very difficult problem because we would love mundane. to have a guest house and a seminar business in this castle. Well, das ist ein bisschen ein Problem, weil wir hätten gern einen ähm, Seminarbetrieb und einen Gästebetrieb in diesem Schloss. So if you like this kind of challenge, I'd be very happy to talk to you. Yes, uh, it's a very normal problem because all castles are like this, but uh, it's also not so easy to find a solution. Right. Yeah, das ist ein normales Problem, weil alle Schlösser so sind und es ist nicht so einfach, da eine Lösung zu finden. Yeah, there are so many beautiful castles actually in Germany. Yeah, das ist dann so viel schöne Schlösser in Deutschland. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Where, where we live now, you'll find when you come here is also a very classic house built 200 years ago. Also, wenn du zu uns kommst und besuchst, wirst du sehen, dass das auch so ein klassisches Haus ist, was vor 200 Jahren gebaut worden ist. But luckily in the, in the, in the in the recent times people put in toilets. Aber glücklicherweise haben in der letzten Zeit äh, die Menschen Toiletten eingebaut. So we don't yes. have any issue, we don't have any issues since 20 years where we live now. So wir haben da jetzt kein Thema mit den letzten 20 Jahren, wo wir leben. But um, if we do shift to this castle, then we definitely have some uh, difficulties. Aber wenn wir wirklich zu diesem Schloss äh, umziehen würden, dann hätten wir dieses Problem. And probably you've noticed in your own work that since this two years of COVID, people want to have their own room with their own bathroom. 
Und äh, was mhm. ist sicherlich auch mitbekommen haben, dass speziell seit Covid die Menschen ihr eigenes Zimmer und ihr eigenes Bad haben möchten. Yes. What kind of, what kind of buildings do you design? Was für Gebäude hast du designed? I designed small houses, but also museums. Um, in I, I, I did one big, uh, I, jetzt muss ich vielleicht Deutsch sprechen, einen großen Umbau einer Industrie, ein Industriegebäude in Karlsruhe, Zentrum für, ZKM, Zentrum für Kunst und Medientechnologie. So I designed one big uh, kind of um, construction, reconstruction of a big industrial building for was? Kunst und? Uh, in Karlsruhe, Kunst, uh, Zentrum für Kunst und Medien, kurz gesagt. So it was in Karlsruhe, like a center for art and media. Uh -huh. Okay, that's very interesting, of course. So I have some experience in uh, Umbau. I can't this English word nicht. Um, so I have, um, yeah, I have some experience in, I also don't know, construction, re, uh, reconstruction. Re yeah. Reconstruction, yes. Right, but probably not castles. Aber not wahrscheinlich nicht Schlösser. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit, a bit specialized, castles. Yes. Etwas <laughs> speziell. Okay. Speziale. Well, I look forward to meeting you in July. Yeah. Yes, I will be happy to yeah. come to your place. It looks right. very nice. Yeah, ich freue mich. Nice people. And uh, <laughs> you appear to be somebody who's meditated for quite a long time. Du siehst so aus, als wenn du schon seit einiger Zeit meditierst, seit längerer. When I was very young, uh, I was 20 years, I learned transcendental meditation. Als ich 20 Jahre alt war, habe ich transzendale Meditation gelernt. So it was the beginning. I also do this sometimes uh, now. Uh, das war der Anfang. Manchmal tue ich es auch heute noch. Genau. Ja. Yeah. Right, right. Good, good. I mean, I can, I mean, it's very interesting, you see, because as you smile, you have a very particular kind of smile which you can das find on um, statues of Buddha, for example. Wenn du lächelst, hast du eine besondere Art zu lächeln, was man so auf Statuen und Buddhas sieht. Thank And you. I think this, is, this is the <laughs> smile of a long time meditator. Und ich denke, das ist das Lächeln eines Langzeitmeditierenden. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I can see you have this. Ich kann yeah. sehen, dass du das hast. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I look forward to seeing you in July. Yeah. I, I so, ich freue mich. will be happy to come. Now, uh, first contact, I, I read a lot of books, uh, but now the, uh, this contact is very good to know some something more about your place and you your people. Okay. Right. I'm happy. Yeah. Ja, der Kontakt war erst Bücher zu lesen und es ist schön euch kennenzulernen. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually English, but 20 years ago I came to Germany by chance. Ha ha ha. Ich bin eigentlich Länder und vor 20 Jahren bin ich zufällig nach Deutschland gekommen. And spontaneously some people wanted to live with me. <laughs> und spontan wollten ein paar Menschen mit mir zusammenleben. So now we've had a community living together for 20 years. Und jetzt haben wir eine Gemeinschaft, die schon seit 20 Jahren zusammenlebt. And somehow we, we together created a very nice um, ambiance, energy field, mm -hmm. you can call it. Zusammen haben wir eine wunderschöne um, Energie, Energiefeld kreiert. Osho used to call it a Buddha field. Osho yes. hat das ein Butterfeld genannt. It looks very nice. Okay, thank you. Ja, das sieht so schön aus. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, we'll probably finish unless there's another somebody else waves quickly. Ich denke, wir werden zum Ende kommen. Ist noch jemand was? We have time. Wir haben noch einen Moment.
Okay, so next week on Thursday, again at 8 o'clock, I will look at chapter 3. Oh, no, no, I won't. So oh, next, I remember uh, now. So I'm going to do another five. chapter in from chapter 2, if you like to read it. And it's called... Also, next week, I'm going to do another chapter from chapter 2, if anyone wants to read it. Passing on the Flame. Das Kapitel heißt die Flamme weiterreichen. And this is about having a spiritual teacher. Und da geht es darum, einen spirituellen Lehrer zu haben. The value of working with a teacher. Zu den Wert, ähm, mit dem Lehrer zu arbeiten. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.